I'm a fifth year transfer at the University of Utah. Come check out our facilities with me, starting with the Huntsman. The first thing you see when you walk into the Huntsman is our trophy case, so you can follow along. We have our All-Americans, our individual national champions, our Pac-12 champions, and our national team trophies. Um, Peep, uh, Miley, and Jana Rucker, who won vault last year. Shout out, insane. Step inside the Huntsman Arena. This is where all the magic happens with nearly 9,000 season ticket holders and a sellout of 15,000 fans. This is the Huntsman Arena. The energy in here is absolutely insane and there's nothing like it. Um, competing in front of 15,000 fans is so amazing. It's so incredible and I just think our fan base is one of the best because they are so supportive and they just love good gymnastics. So whenever anyone comes here, we're just so happy. This building, our gym, basketball practice facility, um, the pool, everything is all connected underground through tunnels. Everyone has locker rooms that are connected in those tunnel systems. And then there's a basketball locker room, men's and women's basketball, there's a swim locker room, our locker room's in there. And then from there, it connects to the dump key, um, which is our training room. Um, so we get ready in our gym, kind of take pictures, that's where all the TikTok magic happens. And then we have some cheers and we all walk from our gym through the tunnel and then there's a tunnel that connects to the bottom um, of Huntsman and that's where we come in. So I can show you guys that. Okay, this is the Sorensen. Come on in. So this is kind of what I was talking about with the tunnel systems. Tunnel this way and our locker rooms that way, which I can bring you guys. And then this kind of goes into some classrooms in the pool. And then this is our nutrition station right here. So basically we have all, anything you could possibly need here. We have refrigerated stuff. These bars are the best bars possible. They're called G2G bars. Um, they're like a local Salt Lake City company, but they're the first like refrigerated protein bar. So it has like all natural um, ingredients, was, which is like the best. So that's like my pre-meat or pre-practice snack always. Okay, we can go upstairs real quick. And I can show you guys the weight room. Yes, we have to walk up these steps before every lift. <laughs> Oh, country, nice. So this is our weight room. This is where the blood, sweat, and tears really go in. But, pretty cool. Our strength trainer, his name's Cody. He's awesome, amazing. Stops by the gym all the time. Really works well with Melissa, our trainer, and Tom and all the coaches to kind of incorporate everything that he can gymnastics-wise in the weight room. So, he's awesome. So this is the tunnels. We walk this every day. If you ask Jane and I, we literally walk this like to our locker room, to the training room, about six or seven times a day because we always either forget something, need something in the locker room. I don't know, we always are like passing each other, like, oh, we're going again, oh, we're going again. So we get really familiar with this hallway. Um, also, if you are ever talking on the phone, you may lose cell service because there have been multiple times where I lose someone on the phone walking this way. <laughs> yeah, this door. So this is the door, I don't know if you can see like, that's the tunnel we walk down to go to our locker room for the Huntsman. So, pre-meet hype cheers right here. <laughs> so this is basketball locker room where we got a lot of our ideas for our new expansion locker room actually came from basketball. So once that's finished, and hopefully you have to be like back and be able to like see an update video, um, it'll, you'll see a lot of same, similar features. Um, but yes, then we have volleyball here. Literally everything is connected. So like a little student athlete tunnel system. We did, um, Crystal Issa is in charge, she's president of SAC. So the student athlete advisory committee. And she created this idea this year, which is like try it out days, which essentially they have all the sports, pick a night um, and every athlete gets to try out that sport. And it's super cool. So we did basketball the other night. We were really not good. Actually our form for throwing was really good but we didn't actually make it to the basket <laughs> very often. But those are super cool. She also started um, a coach's dodgeball tournament and Tom and Carly both participated in that in 
they killed it. Um, but so shout out Crystal Issa because she's an amazing president. <laughs> so this is our temporary locker room for right now. <laughs> this is Jaylene. She's a junior on our team from Texas. We actually trained together for two years. So Metroplex Gymnastics, Psych and Comm major, pretty cool. Shout out, she's Piano Man on, you know, her floor team is really sick. <laughs> Seriously. But yeah, this is our locker room. <laughs> so here's my locker. Also, okay, can I actually show you something? So we signed autographs after the meet last weekend, and there was two girls that gave us pictures, and we had them sign them, but look how precious. And then this is the Leo that we're wearing this weekend. So the lady who designed this in the contest um, actually is coming this weekend to see the meet, so that's why we wore it. It's called Netherlands. Okay, so this is the dump key where we train every single day um, and where all like, I don't know, just the fun happens. It's also being under construction because we're having an expansion, which is amazing. So, I don't know if you guys have heard, well, first of all, this blue light is super cool. It like, disin I think it's like disinfects and stuff while we're not in here, so I think that's kind of cool. But this is the massage chair that Grace got us with her NIL slash elite money, USA team money, but it is the best. Um, every Wednesday when I have, we have an off day and we're doing therapy, I come in here because it gives me a massage and it's a really nice recovery. So shout out Grace. This is where the beam team works. Literally the most beautiful beam team in NCAA gymnastics right here. We have two beams, these first two, that actually have dismount mats. So if we have dismounts that go off the end of the beam, it's on these two. But actually we have a lot of girls like Emily um, and Kara who do side dismounts. So we'll just, I think, yeah, uh, Miley does it too. So we'll just put mats in between. But yeah, and Carly, I can bring you guys over here. But like our whiteboard is normally where our assignments are. Carly's really good at coming up with like a bunch of fun different assignments. Um, just kind of to motivate the girls, keep things like different, keep the change up. But this is kind of, yeah, the beam area. So in the fall, Carly um, kind of broke up the team into offense, defense, um, and kind of was like, okay, offense is like our top six, seven right now that are competitive for lineup. And then she had like the bottom, um, which was like, okay, you might not have as much experience, but you're right up there pushing for offense. And so every Friday we had like fun Friday, football Friday, and we had like a game with it. But Jaden, Jill, and I were called special teams. Um, so we were like part of the beam assignment up here, but we like had special points. Like sometimes it was like stuck dismount. Sometimes it was just like, I don't know, silly little things to keep us involved, which was super fun. But that's kind of just one example of how Carly like switches things up and really makes everyone feel involved in the team and on the beam team. This is the vaulting area. Um, most of the time we spend, we call so we call this way North Vault, um, and this way South Vault. Most of the time we spend going south um, and we stack mats up to be like a competitive surface, but it's just like, it's hard enough where it, like you feel like you've got the competitive surface, but soft enough on our body. So if we're doing lots of numbers during the week, um, most of it will go there, but we do go north. So that's more of a competition surface. Um, and we'll do that maybe on inner squad days, or that was like really big when you we were kind of building up before, right before season, going to meet. So we do that less often than south, but um, both are competitive surfaces. That's where we train. And then sometimes we'll do some uphills if it's a lighter day. So this is our bar area. Um, we have one bar that stays fig because we have a couple girls that are on fig setting still. And then we have one bar that stays set for far setting because we have two different settings. Um, but this is really cool is what Tom does is kind of, he has a hard set and a soft set. So we switch between bars, just, you know, you never know what bars you're gonna get at a competition. So it's really nice to be able to have both options and our assignments normally have both in there. Um, when you're doing board mounts, obviously you're gonna go on the hard. And then we have a bar set with a pit over for dismounts and just people rehabbing back or whatever you need in the summer. It's really nice. Yeah, four bars. Can't get better than that. The, the camera system is really cool because our managers can click our names before our turns 
and then it records like that person's turn and they can send it or we can like look them up from past practices. So it's really cool to just be able to have those and like there's an app that we have basically that we can go into. Um, so it like kind of takes that whole like video aspect to another level which is really, really cool and something new this year. So I feel so lucky to be a part of this program, especially with some of my aspirations of wanting to go into college coaching and athletic administration. I feel like there's no better program to go into, one that has over 15,000 fans, nearly 9,000 season ticket holders. Um, there's nothing like it and it's truly incredible. But not only, I'm just thankful for Tom, Carly, Jimmy, Maya, and the entire staff for not only coaching me as an athlete, but really mentoring me for my next chapter in life. Um, I just can't thank them enough. And it's just incredible to be a part of something so special, um, not only in Utah's campus, but in the Salt Lake area. So this is our viewing area. Um, so as you can see a little bit downstairs, we had that area blocked off, but this is gonna be our viewing area for fans, donors, anyone that wants to come see the gym. All right, so that's the end of the tour. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I gotta go to practice now. Got about 40 minutes, but I'll see y'all later.